Okay, this is going to be a two-part video in order to um, create some drop-down menus uh, or combat boxes to select um, select users, uh, members in this case, um, and to um, see details of a film from a combat box. Okay, so we're going to be splitting this up. The first one we're going to be looking at is just how to create a combat box, but make a bit more of a custom combat box. So actually do, rather than just displaying everything or everybody from the member table, I only want to see people being accepted. So if I go to my members table, you can see here there's um, a column called accepted. And what I want to do is only display um, the members that have already been accepted. Um, so essentially the ones that got ticks in them. Okay, I don't want to display the ones that don't because you can't write review if you've not been accepted in the film club. So, how do we go about doing this? Well, the first thing we need to do is to create the combo box. So I'm going to go to design and I'm going to select the combo box, which is here. And I'm going to draw it out. As access is helpful, it gives me a little bit of a wizard. So I'm going to get values from the table. Um, now I could create a query first um, and do that, do it that way, and select the query here. I'm going to do it slightly differently because uh, I think this way is a little bit faster. So um, I'm going to click on the member table because I want to display members. Click on next. Uh, I want the username. I want the first and last name. So we can see who it is, um, and that's it for now. I click on next. I'm going to order it by last name. Click on next, and yes, I am going to hide the key column. Click on next, and I'm going to store this value into the username. Okay, so the idea is that when I save the review, it's automatically going to link up because I've selected that. Okay, so I click on finish, and as you can see, this is creating me a comma box. I can um, put some text in there, select user. Okay, it's already named. I can name it again here, so call this user name select. Okay, you should always name your boxes. And let's test it. So click on it, you can see here is all the members. However, this has got all members, including the ones that have not been accepted, which is not what we want. So let's edit it. I'm going to click on it again, and I'm going to click on data, and you can see here it says row source. And it's got this kind of horrible looking uh, mess, which is actually called SQL. Okay, now you don't have to worry about that. What we need to worry about is the three little dots here. So I'm going to click on three little dots, and lo and behold, we've got a query. Brilliant. So this works in the way any other query works. So I'm going to find accepted. Okay, um, I don't want to see it, so I untick it, don't want to view it. And the criteria I want. To only see members that have been accepted. One. One stands for true in access, zero stands for false. So, yes, I want the ones that are accepted, uh, and that's it. So, I can uh, close this down. I'm going to save it. Yes, thank you very much. And that's it. So, that will now only display the people who've been accepted. So, let's, um, I'm going to close this form down. Let's have a test. So, save it. Okay, and I'm going to order this by last name. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of Alan Gray. So you can see here, Alan Gray is not accepted, so I shouldn't see him in my review form. So let's just go into it. Um, and let's see if Alan Gray is in there. Doesn't look like he is. Okay, so you can see it's got first name, last name. Uh, it's ordered by last name, so yeah, there's no Alan Gray. Let's just check. No. So as you can see, I've now updated that query um, and I've basically adapted it and, and changed it. And that's it. That's all we have to do.